Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the food experience. Today's experience, it's morning time and I need to cook some breakfast. What's for breakfast, you say? I'm making Egg McMuffins, well, copycat Egg McMuffins, on the Vivor 22-inch flat top griddle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get it started. First thing you want to do is preheat your flat top. Very important that you do that. The Vivor is in Celsius, not Fahrenheit, so I'm going for about 170 degrees Celsius, which is around 340 Fahrenheit. For this operation, I have my handy-dandy infrared thermometer, bench scraper, two egg rings, and long spatula. For the ingredients, I have Thomas's English muffins, Boar's Head Canadian style uncured bacon, two eggs, and a couple slices American cheese. First, I recommend taking your egg rings and coating the inside of them with some butter. I'm using Tillamook Extra Creamy Unsalted Butter. That'll make it so the eggs won't stick to it as much when you're trying to pull off the ring. The griddle's definitely up to temperature, a little hotter in some spots than I wanted it to be. First, I'm laying down the English muffins using unsalted butter. That'll help toast the English muffins. Make sure they all soak up that butter. Throwing on a couple pads of butter for the eggs. You don't necessarily need to use this much, but I like them very buttery. And that also will make it so the eggs won't stick. Throw on the egg rings. Here we go. Meanwhile, let's check out the English muffins. Oh, they're looking good. Nice and toasty. Take those off for right now. You want to let those cook until they solidify enough where you can pull the egg ring off and they don't flood out everywhere. Kind of give it a little bit of a lift. Make sure everything's solidified on top. Oh, that's looking good. Perfect. Laying down a little bit more butter. And let's flip them over. A little bit of browning on the bottom, but that's going to be okay. The bottoms of the English muffin go back down. That'll help melt the cheese. And at this time, Putting on some Canadian bacon. And I'm looking for the egg yolks to harden to get that real egg McMuffin type egg. And the Canadian bacon's already fully cooked but I like to get it a little bit browned. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. See that? The eggs just kind of glide along. It's great when you have your cast iron seasoned well. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, that's looking great. The eggs should be done now. Putting them right on top of the cheese. And then Canadian bacon right on top of the egg. Move this over so you can see it a little bit better, but that's looking pretty darn good. Adding the top. At this point, it's just about go time. The cheese is kind of melted down on the corners. First, a quick little maintenance on the grill. 
some of the cheese stuck, but that'll come right off. A little bit of water. And she's clean. Quick wipe down of a towel. Yeah, good to go. Join you back at the table and we will sample these together. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am with the copycat egg McMuffins. Adding a little bit of salt. Pepper. Have some orange juice. Time to dig in. Wow. The egg is nicely done. They are still steaming. I really like that. Honestly though, I've eaten enough Egg McMuffins in my time to know what they are like. And these are definitely a step above a McDonald's Egg McMuffin. All fresh ingredients. Tastes just like it, but better. I can't even explain why or how, but it just tastes fresher. The English muffins were toasted perfectly on that griddle. Mm. And I think that just about does it. I'm finishing the rest in private. And with that, I want to wish everyone out there a very Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, depending on what you celebrate. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please drop me a line below. I love hearing from you. And until next time, have a stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.